Welcome welcome, 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 welcome to Ruby's Kitchen. kitchen. This welcome. is Ruby's son, Rufi, doing this translation for you today. Today we're going to be making four different types of chutneys that are excellent for pakoras and samosas. And that in our style. So let's get started. If you like our videos, go ahead and click on the red subscribe button. Right next to it, you'll find a bell icon. By clicking on that, you'll receive notifications for our recipes first and free. If you like our videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make a sweet chutney. For that, we're going to turn on our stove. We've set it to medium. And the first thing we're going to do is add one and a half cups of water. Okay, we've added all of our water. Now, and look here, we have tamarind pulp. We soaked tamarind, half a cup of tamarind into water. We're going to use this in our chutneys. So what I did was just took out two tablespoons of that pulp that we soaked. So we're going to add two tablespoons of this pulp into the water. All right, we've added our tamarind and now we're going to add six tablespoons of sugar. All right, now we are going to add a quarter teaspoon of orange food color. And to that, we are going to add a teaspoon of crushed pepper, a teaspoon of crushed coriander, half a teaspoon of black salt, and half a teaspoon of regular salt. And now we're just going to stir it in. We've mixed it well. If you have sugar that's coarse, you can you need to stir it until it dissolves well into the water. So ours has dissolved well into the water. Now we've done our job. Now it's up to the stove and the chutney. We're going to go ahead towards our second chutney. For the green chutney, we are going to use everything that's green, obviously. This is a very popular chutney. We love it. So we're going to add a handful of cilantro. We've cut it into two like big pieces there goes our cilantro and to that we are going to add mint we have about a quarter cup of mint here and to that we're going to add a teaspoon of salt green peppers you can use as many as you'd like i have here three peppers that i cut you can add one or two depends on how spicy you like your chutneys so we're going to go ahead and add three peppers here that i've chopped up and to that we're going to add lime let's go ahead and slice the lime in half and we're going to add fresh lime juice to this if you have lemons that's fine also it's up to you that's half of our lime there and now we're going to go ahead and put the other half in the aroma is just so refreshing the mint the, and the lime alright to that we're going to add 4 tablespoons of water we'll go ahead and close the lid now you can use any machine you'd like, a grinder or a blender or anything, so we're going to just go ahead and start it. Alright, looks like it's well incorporated. Now we're going to go ahead and directly put it into our serving bowl. All right, done with that. And now we're going to go ahead and check on our sweet chutney. Look at this, how happy it looks. Boiling, all the spices well incorporated. So now let's jump on to our third chutney. This is my favorite chutney. I used to make this. I feel like I've been making this since I first opened my eyes. So we're going to take the same container and we're going to put in tamarind. You remember the tamarind that we spoke about? We have it soaked. But this time we're adding six tablespoons. All right, there's our six tablespoons. And like I've said before, you know, I took a half a cup of tamarind, just soaked it in water, took out the seeds, and these this is the pulp that comes out of it. And now to this, we're going to add a little bit of cilantro, about three or four tablespoons or so. Just going to slightly cut it a bit. And to this, we're going to add tomatoes. Chale. 
चल एक छोटा सा टमाटर भी चला गया We've gone ahead and added one small tomato and to this we're going to add some onions slices of onions about a quarter of an onion or so एक टीस्पून नमक a teaspoon of salt एक हरी मिर्च one green pepper we're just going to cut it in half break it by hand चले अब इसमें कुछ Now we're going to add some spices to this है कि आधा टीस्पून चाट मसाला We're going to add a half a teaspoon of chaat masala half teaspoon of roasted cumin half a teaspoon of red chili powder half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper one teaspoon of mango powder half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of black salt and a quarter teaspoon of ginger powder तो ये सब चली गई We're going to put all of that into there And to this, we're gonna add a lime. You're gonna probably think, is she crazy? She's been adding tamarind and lime, and but you know what? These three types of green peppers and three types of you know tartness make this chutney so good. All right, so we've added half a lime here. You know, actually, I've, I've gotten these horrible limes. Okay, to this we're gonna add about three or four tablespoons of water. And now we're gonna go ahead and seal it up. All right, let's start it. All right, that's it. We don't need to really grind it thoroughly or anything. We just need to just like coarsely grind it, so you can just kind of feel like these things are actually in there. They're in there for sure. All right, so we're done with that now. This chutney, I've made a little extra because these this chutney is really good with other things also, such as samosas and kebabs and bun kebabs and all that. Let's just go ahead and quickly rinse this uh, container of ours because we need to make a different chutney. All right, so we're done washing that and let's check on this chutney. Let's see how it's doing. Look at this; it's simmering really nicely. And now, when we're going to be done with our third one, we're going to jump onto this one. All right. So for this chutney, the third one, we're going to. This is a really mild chutney. It's super mild, but kind of saucy. So what we're going to do is, this is actually a recipe of my grandmother, but I've added a few things to it. So I made it into my own thing. So let me tell you how how it's done. So we're going to add some tomatoes. I have three medium sized tomatoes here and we're just going to chop them and add them to our blender. All right. We've added our tomatoes. And now to that, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and half a pepper, a green pepper. We're not going to add too much. This is a mild chutney, like I've said before. So just add. we're just adding a half a pepper. And to that, we're going to add... You know, we have these... Uh, they're called civilians. But they're kind of like an Indian snack. They're available in a bag or so. So here I have three tablespoons. They're just basically crunchy graham flour noodles. And this will give this chutney a nice consistency. And this is where my grandmother's recipe comes in. This is what her thinking was. Let's go ahead and add a tablespoon of water to this. And we're just going to go ahead and blend it. Now, you have two options at this point. You actually have three, you know. You can take this and just eat it just like this. You can add a lime or you can add tamarind to this. I'm going to go ahead and add a lime. So just squeezing in half a lime here. We, if you're using lime juice or anything, all you need is like a teaspoon or so. All right, we're done with that. And now we're going to go ahead and pour it out into our serving dish. 
Now there's a process left for this chutney. We're going to go ahead and create a concoction known as a tarka. So we're going to use this real itty bitty little pan here, put it on our stove. And to that we're going to add about a teaspoon of oil or so. And half a teaspoon of garlic paste. And we're going to go ahead and crush in some curry leaves so we can actually, you know, really get the aroma out of them. And to that, we're going to add half a green pepper. You know, it's the same half pepper we used in the other chutney. We're going to just go ahead and like dice it. And now we're just going to mix it all together and roast this. You know, when I was young, I used to love playing house, you know, or playing kitchen. All these little things, a little stove, a little pan. Now I'm reminded of that time now, you know, cooking with this little pan with a little spoon. Me and my friends used to play together, you know, and the kitchen used to be under my control. And now the fact is it wasn't Ruby's kitchen, but now it is. See, it's sizzling now. I'm actually smelling this great aroma. And once you begin to, you know, get that aroma really out of it, we're, we're done with it. All right, look, it's dangerously done. I can actually, it smells so wonderful. Let's go ahead and pour that over our chutney now. All right, so we're done with this one. And now, this is yelling, pay attention to me. So, we're all done. It's the right time to go ahead and jump onto this one. So, look here, we have a teaspoon full of corn starch. You can use arrowroot also. You know, it's the same one that we use in corn soups. So, what we're going to do is use it as a thickening agent. So, to that, we're going to add a tablespoon or two tablespoons of water. See, I've, I've gone ahead and used two tablespoons here. And now, you shouldn't have any lumps in this. It should be super Super smooth. Just mix it in pretty well and then pour it into our pan. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little in there and mix it all together and put it back. Get all of that out. And now we're gonna let it simmer for about a minute or so and this will be ready. All right, it's been a minute. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn off our stove and let this cool. All right, it's been cooled now, so we can pour it into our serving dish. Did you see how fast we made these four chutneys? Yummy, tasty, tangy, spicy. The middle one also, we got all these flavors in here. And now, I'm going to go ahead and try these with the pakoras. These chutneys are, you know, incomplete without the pakoras. If you like my pakora recipes, I'm going to go ahead and put a link right there. There's a variety of them. So let's go ahead and try them. I'm going to try the, the tomato chutney first. This is our green spicy chutney. And this is our my childhood memories, the spicy and tangy chutney. And this, the sweet, sweet one, just like Zoe. There's a fun and a kick to this too. Uh, my mouth is watering and during Ramadan also when you guys are going to make this you're going to enjoy it thoroughly and I'm going to try this I'm going to try the pepper one first I'm going to go ahead and dip this in the sweet sauce mm. Mm. the peppers are just slightly spicy Otherwise, they're not spicy at all. And the sweet chutney with that? Mm. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try the potato one. I'm going to dip it in the, the tomato chutney and in the green chutney. Mm. 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 Actually, I shouldn't have eaten the entire one. I want to try. I have to try another one too, but I can't. I just couldn't stop. These pakoras are just like that. You can't 
put them on the side. You can't can leave I, them. I'm mad now, I'm going to try the onion one. Mm. All the chutneys are so good. The pakoras are excellent. And the onion ones, you know what the specialty of these are? It's not a lot of gram flour batter on it. It should just be like barely on there. You know, if there's too much batter, it won't, it won't taste good at all. So the way I went step by step throughout this process, you know, you should start with the green pepper ones first and then the potatoes and then the onion ones. You got to do it just like that. You'll have a variety and, and just with one, one and a half cups of gram flour, we made so many pakoras. And then we made so many great chutneys as well. And now go, go ahead and make this for iftari. And you know, I usually eat this for sari when there's, when they're left over. So eat them as well. Have fun. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this translation, please give me a thumbs up. Love you all. Bye. Allah Hafiz.